Good morning, good evening, good afternoon Earthlings. I hope you've got a cup of tea because Christopher Boozy has really blown the lid and opened the floodgates of a talking point. So, under fair use and fair dealing and in the spirit of free speech, I thought, yes, let's, let's go with this. So firstly, um, I was chatting with the Duchess of Nar Sussex this morning and it was actually her who sent me a screenshot of what Boozy had said and I did go and check. I have to use a third party uh, website because he's blocked me on X. I don't know why, we've never had a conversation. So I'm going to start by um, reading out and also I'll just step to the side to make some space for a screenshot and I'll read out what Christopher Boozy said. Uh, and this was today. Dear journalists, please stop trying to make Kate the victim of conspiracy theories while ignoring the rampant and vile conspiracy theories about Meghan. I can show you thousands of posts just from the past 30 days, or are you implying Meghan deserves it while Kate doesn't? I'm sure I don't know what he's talking about. Right. Compose yourself, Fiona, compose. I'm good. Right, this is serious. Um, if we can zoom in a little bit on the um, screenshot, you might notice that there's a thing called a moon bump in that photograph. Um, and you can see the Twitter. I've never come across this Twitter user, but I've left their comment there and everything for their credit. You know, it's, it's their tweet. Um, I don't really know where to start with this. As a lot of you know, this has never been my thing. But as I say, like the other day when I said, if people don't believe that it was Catherine at the shop, you know, cut them a bit of slack. Why not? There are some people who still believe the earth is flat because, you know, no matter how fast they run, um, they never find the curve, apparently. And so, so what? You know, some people don't believe they landed on the moon. Me, I don't care if they did or not, but Graham's convinced they didn't land on the moon. And I'm going to ask him to do a video about that, explaining. So <coughs> people have to be allowed to have conspiracy theories. And when I first came across this subject of Meghan Markle's pregnancy, I googled um, the, Prince, the now Princess of Wales. And yeah, there were conspiracy theories apparently when she was pregnant. I found some archaic ones. It's a thing. It's, uh, I guess it's royal family, it's line of succession, there are certain rules, etc, etc. And I am actually going to defend Meghan, which will probably irritate a lot of you. I'm going to defend her a little bit. <sighs> Breathe. Right, so, um, a moon bump is a thing. Um, that that people can wear and it gives the impression someone is pregnant. Now I have my own theories about Meghan um, that I think she is such a drama queen um, going on walkabout that I, I think she, she was pregnant because for me if she wasn't then we're in, we're in the super weird. Um, but I think that she wasn't that showing and knowing her, she wanted to over-exaggerate it and have extra thick padding and, um, you know, oh, my unborn child and all this stuff. And um, so they gave her padding and, and like a stab proof kind of moon bump. And I think it slipped when, at Birkenhead 2019. That's what I think. I think that maybe the staff hated her so much. But perhaps they sabotaged and tampered with the straps or whatever elastic was holding it up. Now, let's change the screenshot because, and this is under fair use and fair dealing, and this is for open public debate, because it is on the public domain on none less than the Getty website itself. And I will give credit to the actual photographers. So if we start with her getting out of the car, the wonky bump, as I like to call it, uh, was taken by Carway Tang. Um, now, it could just be an unlucky shot, couldn't it? Uh, it does look like a cushion that she's sort of pressing with her arm. And as all of us ladies out there who've been pregnant know, 
bumps are quite firm. They don't, but I mean, it, it could have been the dress. Could have been the dress. Now then if, if we go to um, the next screenshot, which was taken by Paul Ellis, and I'll put links in the description. I think some of these photographers have got websites of their own. I'll put a link to the Getty, um, uh, actual Getty site as well. Credit where credit is due. <laughs> this is for literally um, examination and talking point. Paul Ellis, I like to call this one the big bump, right? This, this is unmistakably a massive bump, right? And then as they're leaving, my personal favorite, this one, was taken by Neil Mockford, and I call this one slipped bump. And it's, it's also added to it. I mean, if you look, if we can maybe zoom in, obviously there's something going on around the knees. Um, these images are all over Google as well. Uh, but if we can zoom in on her actual bump, there is, there is a little bump there. You can see, but it's way smaller. That little bump is way smaller. And then if we go to the previous one, which was taken by Paul Ellis, the big bump, that it has reduced in size considerably. Considerably. Um, but there is, a, if we go back to... Uh, uh, Neil Mockford, <laughs> what a name <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with this particular photograph, and look at the, the knees. Now, people said it was the wind, um, it's the look on Harry's face as well, like he's looking down like, oh God, oh God, get in the car, quick, and, and her face as well. I mean, for example, a couple of days ago, um, my kids were on a WhatsApp with me and they, they, were te they tell me stuff about Catherine because they watch TikTok and stuff like that. And they check with me. They said, Mum, is this true? You know, has she died or has the king died or whatever? Um, and, I, I, you know, I explain it. And they both said to me, what is the thing with Megan's, the Megan conspiracy theories? And I showed them these photographs and they both burst out laughing and they were full of, excuse my French, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Right, now I know a lot of people, this is a talking point and a lot of people, and obviously Wally. Wally's major thing was she was pointing things like this out. Um, and she, she, they, they just booted her off. And Christopher Boozy now is tweeting and bringing this all back to life. I mean, no one was really mentioning it. I know I made a couple of references because Birkenhead, the red and purple coat, that particular occasion, for me, I just, I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, that, that's my best guess, that there was extra padding. Because where something has clearly slipped, and it, I mean, something has slipped. Um, <coughs> I can still see a much smaller bump certainly not the massive bump and of course there were other occasions um there, there was somewhere the bump was huge uh one day and a couple of days later was much smaller and so for the life of me that's that's the only logical explanation that i can come up with um obviously there are other theories um but we've also got to bear in mind that one day little archie will be grown up and he will be watching videos like this. He's bound to. And how hurtful and upsetting it would be for him. Uh, so, but that's what I think. Oh, all right, I'm throwing Megan a bone here. <laughs> Grab it, girl, run with it. I mean, what else could it be? <laughs> I know, I see people go, oh, these are cruel conspiracy theories, cruel cons but when I look at something that is on the official Getty website uh, uh, and they were taken, you know, within half an hour of each other, these photographs, I I'm sorry, I've got to start looking at it and thinking something's wrong. So something's not right there. Don't treat me like an idiot. Um, and, and what they would like is for us peasants, we're just, we, we can only talk about what we're fed by them. But, you know, what's... So, I mean, Chris Boozy, he's... <laughs> and it was Duchess and our Sussex who said to me this morning, wouldn't it be hilarious if the whole thing got lit all over again after all these years? 
of them desperately, desperately trying to squash it and shut everybody the hell up about it. And as I say, it's not really my thing. I mean, I, <coughs> I defend to the death the right for anybody to talk about royal pregnancies, royal births, because it's a thing. That is the major thing, the bloodline. Um, <sighs> so, um, and also I see Prince Harry is adding something. He's suing the son. He wants to ask permission, wants to sue the son about the very, very early articles that came out about Meghan. He says a pri the son paid a private detective uh, to find out her mobile phone number and, and to find out how often he'd been WhatsApping. The article apparently was called Smitten Prince. Haven't been able to find the original article because uh, everybody else is talking about this. And won't it be interesting if he gets permission from the courts and if it goes to trial and they really put it under a microscope and, and then they're really looking at it in detail, won't it be humiliating for Harry if it comes out that it was actually his wife who was leaking to the press about their relationship in order to, you know, buck him into a corner, seal the deal, solidify it, set it in cement, and with Prince Harry. Uh, so, I mean, he might be in for a bit of a, a bump. <laughs> No, I mean, there are some things when I'm feeling depressed that I look up, God forgive me, on the internet. Uh, Morris Dancers is one of them. Not all Morris Dancers, particularly bad Morris Dancers. Now, if you're a Morris Dancer, I love that. When I was little, my dad would take us, you know, out to the Sussex countryside and suddenly they'd just burst into dance. And it's an awesome thing to see. But there are some really bad Morris Dancers out there. There's about one or two of my favourites and it just makes me giggle. And... The Neil Mockford slipped bump photo, I have to say, that's one of the things I go and look at, just, just because it makes me laugh. It's, I'm sorry, yeah, God forgive it. I'm a bad person. I am a bad person. And, uh, well, we're all bad, aren't we? We're all very, very naughty people. But I mean, when something like that happens, and let's not forget there was the other one where she was wearing a red dress and there was the price tag hanging on out underneath, wasn't there? $6,000 red dress. So, I mean, things were slipping left, right and centre around about that time. It is almost as if the staff really didn't like her at all. Oh, didn't someone call Valentine Lowe once upon a time say they were bullying allegations? Oh, palace staff. I don't know. So, she can thank Christopher Boozy, who, by the way, starred on her Netflix docu-series of which she had full editorial control. Didn't you? Mm, mm, yes. So, uh, Boozy Bot <coughs> has raised this subject when nobody was talking about it. The whole planet is talking about Catherine. So, he's brought the spotlight. He's uh, shining a light through his lens. Um, with friends like him, she probably doesn't need any enemies. And on a final note, I'd like to say a massive welcome to Dan Wooten. Welcome to the YouTuber community. Welcome to the Conspiracy Theory Corner. Um, uh, poor dude has had uh, his name dragged through the mud, back and forth and stamped all over and God knows what. But here he is free to speak on YouTube and I will make sure that I've got the correct Dan Wooden channel because there's a fan, there's a fan channel or it could be a parody or something else. So I'll put a link to one of his videos on the right one. So if you want to go and subscribe, you can. And if you want to hear about, um, not moon bump, moon, moon landing, moon landing theories, I shall put a link also to Graham the Baron Hesketh's channel, my husband, so you can go and have a watch of that. In the meantime, Theories, opinions, I mean, everyone's entitled to an opinion. That's the whole point of free speech. Keep it noise. Um, for me, uh, the, the, the phrase that comes to mind is, do my eyes deceive me? Thank you very much for listening.